Now that we have a login page that actually logs us into Cognito and gives us tokens for authentication, let's go ahead and make a log out page. And I'm looking here and I see that I need to change this uh, lowercase to a capital and we'll do a few other things. We need to clear out all these tokens and then we're going to go to the log out page. It gives us the option to log back in. Let's go ahead and get started with that. Let's bring up our command prompt. There we go. We have two of them. We have one, one with ng serve running, but this one I'm going to use to make another component. I'm going to make a log out component. So I'm going to say ng generate component log out. All right, we've got our log out component. Let's bring up our Visual Studio code. There's log out. We don't really need to change anything there right this second. Let's go to our app routing module.ts and see if we can route to our logout page. There it is. Route app routing module TS. And this is for our routes. We need a logout route. I'm going to do a comma, curly bracket, path, colon. We'll do logout, comma, component, colon, I want to log out. Do I got it? There it is. If I hit the enter, it'll add it up here. If you didn't get that log out component, you're going to have to add it by hand. Nice. Now we can go to our header component. This is where our log out, our log out menu item is. Ah, it was hiding at, hiding on me. Header, header.component.html. Here's where our log out is. Let's change this. So whatever is, whatever was in there, we're going to do a slash log out. Let's go to our log out component dot TS. Add some code here. Let's make a constructor. Let's say constructor open parenthesis. We'll do some dependency injection of our Cognito service. Cognito service colon and that's of type cognito service make sure that gets added or you'll have to add it by hand open and close uh, curly brackets we don't need to do anything in the constructor we're just using it for our, our uh, to get access to our cognito service I am going to do something here I'm going to make a function called ng on init so this is the initialization of the component. You could look into lifecycle uh, functions, but it's one of them. So we'll have a void, right? Open, close parenthesis. I'll just open it up. Inside, when we do our init of component, we are going to do this, cognito service, and then sign out. There's no argument for the sign out, so I'll just do an open and close uh, parentheses dot then. So after we sign out, then, Open and close parentheses, open and close parentheses, parentheses again for an anonymous function. Curly brackets, open those. We'll just leave a message. We'll say to the console, do console.log, logged out. All right, let's save all. Let's just add something simple to our log out component.html. Just says log, log out works. Let's change that. Make it like an H2. Open bracket, H2, close bracket. You have successfully logged out. Open bracket, we'll do a A for anchor. We'll do a router link. And let's go to our back to our login page. Right, so we have a router link equals We'll do a speech quote. We'll do two speech quotes. Slash login. So we'll go back to our login. Let's go ahead and put a close bracket there. And then we got a close for our anchor too. And we can go ahead and say login. So you can go back, log back in if you want. Save everything, save all. Let's see if we can do our log out now. All right, so I still have my page up. I'm still logged in. I haven't timed out or anything. Let's see if we can just do the logout now. Logout. Boom, there we go. 
it got rid of all of our uh, tokens. So it cleared our cache and we can log back in hopefully. Let's try it. Look at that. All right. So now we got to log in, log out. That's pretty cool. Now what we need to do is use some route guarding so that we can block off things that we don't want unregistered users or unlogged in users to see and then and then bring it back when you log in, maybe clear out some other stuff, right? So if you're already logged in, we don't want the login showing and we don't want home showing if we're not logged in, things like that. Oh, and look at that. We forgot our capital L. Let's change that real quick. Go to Visual Studio Code. We'll go to the header component.html. And here it is. Capital L. Control C to Control S to save. Nice. All right. I will see you in the next video. We'll do the route guards.